So earlier today, the DNC, in what must be an after effect of smoking too much weed, has decided it'd be a great idea to launch a new lawsuit. Who is this lawsuit against? Russia, WikiLeaks, and Donald Trump's campaign. And of course, it's over allegedly conspiring to destroy Hillary Clinton's chances of winning an election. Now, NPR is reporting the suit, uh, and they say that it, it is unlikely to yield any outcome. However, it advances the theory about alleged collusion between Trump's campaign and the Russians. So, here we go. Launching a ridiculous suit. Uh, even before we know the results of the actual investigation into collusion. That's wonderful. Now, the DNC writes in the suit, The conspiracy can constitute an act of previously unimaginable treachery. The campaign of the presidential nominee of a major party in league with a hostile foreign power to bolster its own chance to win the presidency. <sighs> this is really stupid. And look, I, I'm actually... look. I, I'm one of the people who actually does believe that Russia did try to interfere with the election. And, but you know what? There's a chance that I'm wrong about that, that maybe they didn't interfere or maybe they did. Um, you know, it's a, not a smart thing to do. Launch a lawsuit before we actually know the fucking answer. <laughs> I mean, for Christ's sakes, if, if, if Mueller does not find any evidence of collusion, you're going to look really fucking stupid. Of course, they're banking on them finding something. Now, what I think they'll find is massive financial crimes. Uh, and look, there's already so many people uh, that have been indicted related to the Trump campaign that have done financial crimes. Michael Flynn, uh, Michael Cohen is, is, is being uh, uh, alleged to have done wire fraud and, and things like that. Paul Manafort, George Papadopoulos. You can go down the list, right? There's a lot of people uh, who have had alleged financial crimes. So if you're going to get them on anything, that's where you're going to get them. However, that said, this is a really stupid move by the DNC. Look, let me tell you why. Uh, Russian interference likely wouldn't have had too much of an impact on the election. Now, what had more of an impact? Voter suppression. Voter suppression is a, is a huge problem. In fact, you've got Chris Kobach out there. Uh, that came up with the interstate cross check and you had voter suppression, for example, in Wisconsin that uh, prevented 45,000 people from voting during the general election. Donald Trump won by about 20,000, 22,000. But no, no, let's blame Russia. Let's blame Russia for what Republicans are doing with voter suppression. That's, that's wonderful. That, that's a great strategy, DNC. And look, this wouldn't have been such an impact, by the way, or had such an impact, had the election not been so close in the first place. I mean, look, the DNC, the Democratic Party, chose the literal worst person to run against Trump. Somebody who had massive, massive trust issues. Somebody that was tied financially to banks and giant corporations, Goldman Sachs. And the plethora of issues, of course, that... She was not progressive on uh, in a time where the electorate is incredibly interested in populist progressive ideas. No, no, no. We're going to run as a status quo candidate against somebody who was promising to change the system. Not very smart. And not only that, but look, we knew this was going to happen. We knew Donald Trump was likely going to win uh, because look at the polling. You had polling where Hillary Clinton was either tied or just slightly barely ahead in the polling. And of course, Donald Trump out, uh, uh, outperformed the polls because they didn't, uh, they didn't, the pollsters, they didn't consider first time voters that were excited by Donald Trump. So they completely discounted that and ended up, Obviously, doing uh, having polls that were very much off. So there you go. But instead of, of course, talking about that, um, no, we're, we're going to talk about 
how it's not our fault for botching this election. We're just going to blame Russia. We're going to blame Comey. Although, no, Comey is now a resistance hero, which is funny. Uh, Jill Stein, Bernie Sanders, WikiLeaks, rural voters, progressive voters, Republican voters, swing voters, non-voters, and, of course, the DNC itself. Wait a minute. She blamed the DNC? Yes, she did. She did. She even blamed the fucking DNC, which is an, it, amazing, amazing. So here's the thing, right? You have the DNC that's basically ignoring the very reasons that she lost. But they're doing so on purpose. It's not like they're stupid. They're acting stupid. They're doing something com incredibly stupid. But they're doing so for a reason. And that reason is to re resist becoming more progressive. That's what the real resistance is about. We're just going to resist being progressive. Great plan. Great plan. You're going to resist supporting good policy that polls very, very well. So what are they going to run on in 2020? Trump is bad. And we'll see how that works out. Look, man. Here's the thing. They're doing this at a time where this could absolutely blow up in their face. Again, the investigation continues. And so what if the investigation doesn't turn up any collusion? Blow up right in their face. No, here's what the DNC should be doing. Here's what the Democrats should be doing. Promoting progressive policy. They should talk about Medicare for all. They should talk about a free college. They should talk about a living wage. They should talk about strengthening bank regulation. Because we need it. We should talk about climate change. Universal child care. No more interventionist wars. As if, of course, the Democratic establishment would do that. They love interventionist wars. So what they do instead, because they don't want to do any of that, is sue Russia, WikiLeaks, and Trump over sealing an election. Now, let me tell you why that's ironic. They, pr they basically rigged a primary against Bernie Sanders. And stole the primary. Donna Brazil, for example, she was caught beating questions to Hillary Clinton's campaign. There was also people being deregistered, weirdly enough, in, in certain places where they, oh, oh, look at that. You're not registered to vote. Looks like you can't vote. These are Democrats. These are lifelong Democrats, which, look, a lot of them were in favor of Bernie Sanders, very likely. You know, some are also probably in favor of Hillary Clinton. They also got disenfranchised. Weird. And look, I pointed out a lot of different things where you had irregularities during the primary. It's no surprise, um, you know, or it shouldn't be a surprise that uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, by the way, was found to have put her finger, thumb, entire body on the scale for Hillary Clinton. That's not an accident. They had already chosen their candidate. They had already chosen the person that they wanted to be the Democratic nominee. So Bernie Sanders, get out of here. We don't want you. No, no, we, we've already chosen Hillary Clinton. It's her turn already. It is her turn. How dare you interfere with that? And we're going to smear you 12 ways to Sunday, and we're going to make sure that you don't get any time to go on debates. We're going to vastly reduce de debate schedule. We're actually going to let the Republicans take the narrative by letting Republicans do their debates first. We're also going to elevate Donald Trump by, you know, colluding with the media. And again, this has been, this has been shown, this has been documented, to try to Elevate Donald Trump using the Pied Piper strategy. Oh, there's no way we could lose against Donald Trump. He's a clown. Well, he's a clown. But guess what? That clown is president of the United States. Look, the entire DNC is complicit in the election of Donald Trump. So, again, it is completely ironic that the DNC would then turn around and sue Russia WikiLeaks... <laughs> and Donald Trump's campaign over lo losing an election. Absolute, it would be absolutely hilarious if it, weren't, if it didn't mean the destruction of our country. Because that's, that's what's happening now under Trump. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, 
please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.